Now, Kevin, to kick this one to you, with Kevin Durant coming back into the fold for the Nets later this week, just what do you think his impact is going to be once he's back in the rotation for Brooklyn? I think it's going to be pivotal. I mean, we're talking about a top two player in the NBA when healthy, a player that can change the dynamic of a game both on offense and on defense because we know he has improved his defensive capabilities, but obviously more so on the offensive side is what he's known for. So we know what Kevin brings to the table. He can shoot from deep, mid-range. He's got great handle, can finish at the rim, great free throw shooter, has been improving on his ball, on, on his distribution. Obviously uh, not a pass-first player at all, but he has been known to be able to find people and make good passes here and again. But Kevin Durant adds a must-cover player on this team. Kevin Durant demands a double. Kevin Durant is also somebody that you need to fear because when he's on the floor, that's a man that can get 30 while sleeping. Like, not even remotely close to a joke because he's, what, career-wise, almost a 28, 29-point-per-game score in his entire NBA career, which is just absolutely unheard of. But for the most part, you need to prepare for Kevin as opposed to when he's not on the floor, you have to prepare for the Nets as a unit. So we all know that since Seth has been acquired from the Philadelphia trade with uh, for James Harden and whatnot, that he's been playing at a high level. Drummond's been playing better. And obviously Kyrie Irving just dropped 38 the other day. And potentially New York is looking to uplift some of the mandations between the vaccine policies and whatnot. But that's another conversation for another day. So you can see that as a whole, Brooklyn is playing a lot better as of late. And in large part, I think that's because James Harden is no longer there. I think the distraction is gone. I think that obviously the two players that they acquired, and of course, Seth and Drummond are playing very, very well. Now KD's coming back. Now you have a for sure offensive, reliable scorer. Now you have somebody that can take over a game. Now you don't have to look and see, on in away games in particular, who is going to be able to score the ball when we need it the most? You get your best player back. You get one of the best players in the world back. Kevin Durant will single-handedly carry this organization back into a top five seeded team. You heard it here first, and that is just Kevin Durant. So if New York ends up not lifting this policy, we're going to be talking about the Nets still being a top five Eastern Conference team. And Ben Simmons has apparently not experienced a setback, but it was reported by Shams yesterday that he's having some back soreness and it's going to take some time to get him acclimated and, you know, kind of like back in game shape with that back soreness that he's going to have to deal with. So overall, it's going to be on KD's shoulders. And I don't think he's ever had a problem holding that. So just put the weight of the team on his shoulders. I guarantee he's going to lead him to the promised land, man. KD will be back with a vengeance. Kevin, I'd be hard pressed to disagree here, but I'm with you 100% on this one. And I'll kind of actually take it a stretch further than you did. I think when KD gets back into the fold, you said top five in the East. I'm going to just flat out say I could see them in the top three because I think what KD is going to provide is it's going to provide a massive spark for this team. And I think it's going to lead to a huge run because Kevin, I mean, let's just face it here. I mean, Kevin Durant is one of the most dynamic players that we've seen in this generation. The guy can go out and score 30 like it's a walk in the park. And Really what you've seen from Brooklyn when they've been on this losing stretch for a large portion of when he was out, that team just wasn't firing in all cylinders because they were missing essentially the main piece that makes this engine go with the Nets. And of late, they've been playing better. Kyrie's been playing out of his mind. And when KD gets back into the fold, I really do think that this team is going to start hitting its stride. And I think there's a very good chance that they are going to go on a massive winning streak just because... When you look at KD's presence and what he's able to put out on the floor, you got KD, Kyrie. Those two are going to demand a huge defensive presence depending on who they're going up against. And it's going to space the floor for shooters that they have on the roster. That's like you said with Seth Curry. Ever since he's come from Philly, he's been lighting it up. And I imagine that we're going to see some of these role players for Brooklyn really step up because – now that you have KD coming back into the fold later this week, he's going to demand a huge defensive presence. So I could see guys like Andre Drummond getting some good buckets moving forward. I could see Blake Griffin getting good minutes. I could see Patty Mills also increasing his total volume because he's been playing really well from them in one of those role player positions for them this year. And I would expect more of the same once KD gets back into the fold. I think the Nets 
there's a sense of urgency that they were missing when KD was out. I think now that he's coming back later this week, I think it's going to be balls to the wall energy. These guys are going to feel that urgency because they're getting towards the end of the season. And this is go time right now. They got a lot of ground to make up. They're eighth place in the Eastern Conference. At one point, they were top two, top three in the East before KD went down. And I think when he gets back, I could potentially see them getting all the way back to that two or three position. But when he gets back, they got to be firing on all cylinders. And I think that KD is going to feel that urgency. And really, I think it's going to propel them not only just into a top five position, I think it's going to get him to a top two, top three position just because it's Kevin Durant, bro. The dude's unstoppable when he gets into a rhythm. Then you got Kyrie who's playing out of his mind. And then you have some of these role players step up. I really do think that the Nets can go on a massive run here. And I'd be hard pressed to find anybody that really can stop them once they really get rolling because that team has the firepower to go out and score 120, 130 points consistently. There's not too many teams that can match that. So I think the Nets are in a great position here once he gets back, but they have to make the most of their opportunities when he gets back because they are running out of time in this season. But really all eyes are on KD and his return, and I think it's going to be exciting for Brooklyn moving forward.